kindergarten friends. How are you? Oh, I'm so happy that Mrs. Hammond asked me to share with you today. I hope you remember me. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Well, I'm Mrs. Deacons, if you don't remember my name. It's so good to be able to talk with you today. I miss seeing you at school. Well, Mrs. Hammond tells me you guys have been studying the Ten Commandments. That's so exciting. I'm so glad because it's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Well, really, the whole package, because that means you've been studying Moses, right? I've got a picture here of Moses. And that means you've been studying all about how God freed his people from Egypt. And he sent those plagues. What were there? There was frogs and there was flies and there was lice. I bet you can remember some more of the plagues, can't you? And then after the plagues and God led his people out of Egypt and Moses was leading them when they were being chased by the Egyptians. Do you remember the parting of the Red Sea? Oh my goodness, that's like totally my favorite story. I love reading that story. Well, now you're to this wonderful part where God has given the Ten Commandments to Moses to give to the people, right? So these were the two tablets. This is in the picture here. He put the five commandments on the tablets that people would know. Well, Mrs. Hammond tells me you're up to, what's this? Number five. So if you're up to number five, number five, I love the number five. If you're up to number five, I've got it all written out for us on a poster. Let's see. And I know you've been practicing your reading. So this is what number five says. You can find it, of course, in Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. It says, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Exodus 20, 12. So what does that mean? God gave us that commandment. He says we're supposed to honor our father and our mother. I know you've been speaking about this with Mrs. Hammond a little bit too. What does it mean to honor your father and your mother? Do you think you know? Well, I know one thing she told you that she's been teaching you is that it means to obey the first time, right? If mom or dad tells you to do something, you should do it. That honors them, right? If mom says, please pick up your toys. You shouldn't keep playing, thinking, well, I'll do that later. You should just do it right away, shouldn't you? And if dad says, wash your hands and come for dinner, you should stop right there and wash your hands and come for dinner, right? You should do it right away. Not think, well, I just gotta finish my guy on this game and then I'll wash my hands. No, you should pause your game or turn it off and go wash your hands and come for dinner, right? That's how we honor mom and dad. There are other ways we can honor our father and mother too. Hmm. I was thinking about those. There's many ways. One of them I thought of is remembering the things they taught us. Like what if mom or dad told, told you to say please and to say thank you? I'm sure they did, right? If you'd like something, may I have more water please, right? So you ask the question, you say please. You don't say, I need more water. You say, may I have more water please? Or if someone gives you something, you say thank you, right? I'm sure mom and dad have taught you that. Well, one way to honor them is to remember what they taught you. So to use those things they taught you. So when something happens, you say, thank you. And you think to yourself, I remember, I was told I should say thank you. And I wanna do that. I wanna honor my mother and father, right? There's many things like that. Well, there's something special about our verse here. You know what's special? It says even later in the Bible, all the way in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter six, verse one, it says, actually chapter six, verse two, it says, honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. The Bible says this is the first commandment with a promise. Hmm, what does that mean? What is the promise? Do you think maybe you can see the promise? Hmm, honor your father and your mother so that, that means if you do this, so that this might happen. Here's the promise. Let's see what it is. You may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. It's a promise that if you do this, if you honor your mother and father, 
then you can live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Well, what does that mean? Is God giving us land all of a sudden? Well, it means whatever the Lord puts before you in your day, it's going to go better with you. And it's, you're going to be able to live long in that space that the Lord has given you if you remember to honor your father and your mother. So it comes with a promise, right? So that shows us how much God really wants us to honor our father and our mother. Let's read it together. You want to read with me? Here we go. We're going to read it one more time. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Let's see this part too. Exodus 20, 12. Friends, it's been so fun to be able to chat with you. I can't wait to see you again. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy all that Mrs. Hammond has for you. Bye.